My piece is called Painting a Memory. This piece is a narration of my grandma who teaches the te a technique which helps terminally ill patients to paint. The technique was created by the late John Wyman, MBE. He was awarding his MBE for his services to the terminally ill through art therapy. John Wyman, MBE, taught my grandma to teach this technique to the terminally ill patients at the local hospice. My grandma has taught terminal patients with all types of illnesses, everything from cancer to dementia. There is 800,000 people living in the UK with dementia. According to the Guardian, dementia sufferers who partake in activities such as drawing, painting, have been proven to help reconnect with their surroundings and lessen their dependency on antipsychotic drugs. I decided to create an audio of an interview with my grandma who teaches the technique that John Wyman created. She teaches the technique to hospice patients and the stills in this video are of one of their patients who suffers with dementia. The stills are to show the process of from a photograph to the watercolour. Each photograph represents a stage of the process that John Wyman created. My idea is I want to document that process from a photograph to another media form which is the watercolour and how that process can in the long term and in the short term aid the memory of the photograph. They, they are shot, um, the images are shot over the shoulder as I wasn't allowed to shoot their faces to show their faces in the photograph because of security reasons because I haven't got free ID check but I don't think this was a, a major problem because I actually prefer the other shot all the shots because it feels like this piece could be about anybody and it's not personal to them I feel like faces have a personal meaning so like my grandma who's helping this patient you can't see her face you can see her hands and I think hands talk more than faces can tell that she's helping them. The audio is an interview and I asked my grandma questions because she teaches this technique um, like what do you do with these individuals and why and she says that she teaches them to paint. How do you see the John Wyman technique can aim memories and she explains that it's a, the conversation that comes with the painting is the key to aiding memories. I also asked questions like why is a photograph important? And she says she can always use a photograph, but it can be a talking point. Um, the painting, I also asked her, does painting recall, help to recall memories? And she said yes, it does, because as you're going through, you're always constantly going back to the photo. It's always, the photo is the key point, because you're always constantly going back to it. She might use one all the time, she might just use the landscape, but that landscape, might be very generic but it could be s n it could be a stimulus to eventually go in oh i remember i i went to a place like that